Hey guys, how are you? How do you like my little Minnie Mouse ears? I thought it would be kind of cool to get them. It kind of makes me feel like I got to go to Disney World, even though I didn't get to go to Disney World this year after all. Uh, I can pretend that I did. So, I got them from Walmart, and they're just super adorable. Anywho, so I thought it would be kind of fun to talk to you guys about Christmas traditions. It was an idea that my friend Katie gave me. Um, she is my go-to idea person, so yay. Uh, I wasn't really sure if I was going to do a video like this or not, but I kind of decided that in the holiday spirit and the name of Christmas, I would go ahead and do it. So, yeah. Um, I will start by telling you guys a little bit about how I grew up and what we did on Christmas. So, when, uh, growing up, we started off by going to a really nice Christmas church service every year. Um, and one year I was part of the service and I got to wear a really beautiful dress and that was our, like, old, old, old church that I, like, you know, got baptized at and everything. But yeah, we would always go to a really nice church service and then we would have a nice sit-down family dinner, usually on Christmas Eve, uh, if not Christmas Day. But I think it was usually on Christmas Eve after church or before church. But yeah, so then we would go to bed and whatever and um, usually my brother would wake me up really super early in the morning if I didn't wake him up Um Usually he would just wake me up and we would go together to wake our parents up. Um, and that was always around 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning. And, you know, it was just kind of like the whole little kid being excited about Christmas thing. So we would get our parents up and then we would have to wait for them to make coffee. Um, and while they were making coffee and waking up enough to help us open our gifts and everything, uh... Usually my brother and I would be organizing our presents into stacks so that we could take turns. So he was usually the leader of that and he would find uh, all his gifts and all my gifts and then give me all of mine and keep all of his in a, in a stack and that was just kind of how we occupied ourselves while our parents were doing whatever they were doing. Um, so then when my parents were ready, they would come into our living room and we would start by opening our stockings because that was almost a requirement. It was just a thing. You just open your stockings first, end of story. Um, so we would open our stockings and then we would take turns opening gifts. And then we would have breakfast after we opened gifts and um, call the people that we wanted to call, which would be Merry Christmas. Usually it was my aunt and stuff like that. So um, the rest of the day would just be spent at our leisure. We would do whatever. And I have always been one to spend the day watching movies. That's just my Christmas thing. Me personally, I was just a huge fan of lounging on the couch and just watching movies. It didn't matter what movie. It didn't have to be a Christmas movie. It was just any movie. I was just, I mean, I Throughout the whole rest of the year, I don't really usually do that, uh, but for some reason on Christmas, it's just my thing. I love to just lay on the couch or my bed or whatever and just watch movies all day. So that's what I did growing up. You know, so as I got older, it started the child innocence of excitement and, and anticipation of Christmas just kind of faded. Um, and so I started getting up later and later and later and then my brother moved away and um, so it just started getting less and less of a tradition that we had before. Uh, I moved to Ohio at one point and um, I, we didn't, I mean I only spent two Christmases there so I didn't really have time to set up any traditions or anything but uh, when I moved back things were just so different you know my mom um, she eventually moved to Georgia because of her profession you know she got a really good job in Georgia my dad just stayed in Florida and worked uh, they never you know they weren't divorced or anything they just led separate lives so it was a little strange at first but you know we're used to it now so um, so she worked in Georgia, he worked in Florida, and we would spend the holidays together whenever possible, except her job sometimes requires her to work on Thanksgiving and Christmas, so that was kind of an adjustment. Um, and then I 
eventually met Brian and he and I kind of had to combine for a while our different family traditions. I would decorate the house for my dad and then Brian and I would go over to his mom and dad's house on Christmas Eve because his family opens gifts on Christmas Eve. Uh, so Christmas Day they just relax pretty much and eat a nice breakfast and that's it and then they have a nice dinner later on but Christmas Eve is the day that they open gifts so we would go over there on Christmas Eve and open gifts um, then when he and I moved here to Indiana we started our own tradition so he kind of picked up on my movie my love of movies on Christmas Day and we go to a movie on Christmas Day and then the rest of the day I pretty much spend still watching movies so last year I think we went and saw the Hobbit movie on Christmas I don't know if that's right don't quote me on that but we went to eat China buffet and um, we went and saw the Hobbit and then this year we're gonna go to Chinese buffet again it's a Chinese thing we just like to eat Chinese food on Christmas and then we're gonna go see Star Wars so that's my Christmas tradition videos. What kind of traditions do you guys have? Leave me a comment below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And please hit subscribe if you're new to the family. I love you guys. Here's to wishing you a very joyous Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And lots of infinite love from me to you. 